Yo, what is up, buddies? Welcome back. Beak here. So you guys know, nobody really wants to be the first person to attack a base. But somebody's got to do it. The guy who attacks second, or the girl, or whoever you are, the person who attacks second is going to have a huge advantage because they can see some of the traps, and they can see the clan castle. Now, the clan castle, it doesn't really matter that much. You're going to have to kill something, and you know, nowadays, it's almost always going to be a dragon or a hound. But the traps are very important. So on this base, I'm going in and I'm trying to get a three star, as you can see, golem, hog, attack. Now I started more on the archer queen side here because I was thinking, hey, I'm not gonna be able to take on both infernos at once. I still think it was a good decision, but right here, things get really slow. This dragon is really slowing me down. My king is dead. My archer queen is targeted. Oh man, things were getting ugly there. So I just dropped the hogs hoping somehow some way things would work out and they kind of did um queen pulled through she took out one of the infernos and the dragon so we're actually back on track now that beginning was crazy though so anyway threw down a, a poison spell there um there was some some traps thankfully uh, i took them out skeleton traps and now i brought a few balloons i'm sending them from the bottom they're not working that effectively though because it would appear there's air traps there okay Whatever, kind of expected that. Uh, I'm throwing one in from the right here, and that's definitely going to help no matter what. Oh, wow, a bunch of air traps came up. But still, it's going to help take out those last few defenses. Never mind. No, it didn't. But anyway, <laughs> we've gotten to the end of this base somehow. This was just an ugly attack, but we made it. So now all we have to do is clean up this base, and we have a minute, over a minute left. A minute and 10 seconds right now. And with 22% left, you would think there is no way we're going to fail on this. I'm glad those were air skeleton traps and not ground because they would have totally ruined my hogs. So let's see what these little buddies can do. We're going to speed it up. 50 seconds left. Over on the left, I have some goblins, but they're not doing anything because they're not in the base. They're trying to chew on those walls. And yeah, goblins are fast. I, I got love for goblins. But... When they have to chew through walls, <laughs> they take a little while. So, hogs, they're the best at cleanup because they can just go in a straight line to wherever they need to go. So, right now, you might be getting pretty concerned because we have 10 seconds left and we have some huge buildings left to take out. So, this is going to be a crushing, absolutely crushing defeat. One star, 98%. Nothing is worse than that, boys and girls. That is the worst thing that can happen to you. I mean, your clan is going to say like, yeah... Good job, Beak. Nice try, man. But they don't mean it. What they mean is, dude, anything but that, you know? Anything but a 98% one star. You're embarrassing us, Beak. Come on. So next up, guys, this is what it's all about. The cleanup. The cleanup guy, he's got it easy. He knows a couple of the trap locations. He knows that if he can do things just slightly different... Maybe things will turn out better. So, notice the army composition. He did bring more goblins. That's going to help afterwards. You know, that long cleanup, it's going to be made easier if he brings more cleanup troops. Kind of obvious, right? <laughs> I didn't really have that many cleanup troops. So, he's going in from the top more. Um, kind of an interesting idea. I thought this wouldn't work. But it turns out it worked really well. So, he is going to... Not quite get targeted yet. Um, I, I was concerned his king was going to get burned up really quickly by those infernos. Looks like the infernos are targeting the golems right now. Uh, Toby's spell composition here is totally different than mine. He has no free spells. I brought one, I think, right? I think I brought, brought one. Uh, so he has more heals than me. Having more heals is going to help a lot. That's going to allow him to keep his hogs alive longer. And if you have a ton of hogs left at the end of a raid, even like 10 or 12 hogs left... You're probably going to clean up just fine because hogs, they're the best at cleanup. They run right in a straight line to the next building and take it out. And, you know, unlike uh, every other troop. So anyways, guys, queen just went down. That that scared me. I was like, oh, whoa, what? how's he going to do this now? You know, he's got a lot of hogs, though. Let's see what they can do. Single Inferno, not really going to take out the hogs too fast. We've talked about this before. As far as balloons and hogs go, they can overwhelm a single Inferno. But they got to overwhelm it. They got to get on the thing. So go, buddies. Go, go, go. Okay, they've taken it out. Yes. Now, no spells left. It's all up to the hogs. Let's see what they can do. There's a lot of them, though. There is a lot of them. Um, what is that? Ten hogs left. 
So like I said, 10 hogs, they can clean up a base for sure. Is that the last defense? Yes, it is. So see, this raid didn't really go that much differently. But there was just a few little things. Like Toby brought more goblins. He's already got them down. They've taken out a bunch of buildings. And now they're, they're being stupid and hitting walls. But uh, he also had a wizard down at the bottom. He's cleaning up. And more hogs, you know? More hogs because he had more heals. And uh, clean up. That's the guy you want to be. <laughs> you don't want to be the first person attacking a base. Especially if it's talk if you're talking about three stars. Uh, I I never get three stars on the first try. You know, it's best if somebody else goes first and is the guinea pig in that way. You know, maybe you'll have more of a chance the second time. So, great job, Toby. Awesome to see. Uh, I had fun watching my 98% too. I mean, it was a crushing defeat, but uh, it was still fun, you know? It's fun to see <laughs> see you come around and, and, and your troops are starting to hit the town hall and it's like, yes, I got it. Oh, wait, you have three seconds left. Nope, not today. So there we go. Three star for Toby. Awesome, man. One rage spell, four heals, and uh, he had more hogs than me too. Look, he had almost 30 hogs. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll try to bring more hogs next time. <laughs> it did work really well. All right, guys, for the final raid today, I want to show you guys a Town Hall 9 raid. This is my favorite. I love to watch these. So we got Ash here going in with a, what's he got? A, a Go Hog raid, kind of. He's going to have two golems, a couple of witches, and then hogs. And I think this was a cleanup raid, too. And the thing that he learned by, you know, watching the replay before him was that there was some bombs in the core. Now, that's not always a death sentence. You can get around that. But the way to get around it is to get your golems and heroes into the core. They're going to distract defenses, and they're also hopefully going to take out some bombs. Now, the other way of dealing with bombs, we've talked about it recently. You split up your hogs. You can do sort of a surgical raid, or you can kind of just deploy them in multiple areas. And usually, that, that's going to help. And that's what Ash is basically going to do here. He's going to throw a couple of hogs on the bottom right, and then some on the top right, with a few in, in the middle as well. And a heal spell for each of these groups is going to keep them alive as they move into the core. In the core, he's got his heroes. That's awesome. When you get your heroes that far into the base, you pretty much got it. You know, Then your hogs are just going to take out the, the outer layers, and you're done. You know, boom, got it. So it looks like he did hit a couple of bombs in the middle, but nothing crazy. I mean, he's he's still doing really, really well here. Queen still taking out defenses. Hogs doing great. And as long as they don't hit any other bombs, they should be good. He's out of heal spells now. So yeah, okay, there's no bomb there. Good. So it looks pretty good. Nothing left to shoot at them. Now it's just a matter of cleanup. Uh, Ash has been doing pretty good lately. I think I showed you guys a 99% a two-star from him recently. Um, but usually, he when he gets uh, when he gets a good raid, he does get the 100%. And I believe that's what we're going to see here. So as far as cleanup, he didn't really come that prepared. But he does have a few wizards and archers around the base. And that's usually enough. You guys know I prefer to bring a couple of goblins. Seems to help the best. He has like one, uh, at least one up there uh, on the right. That's going to help a little bit. But when you have that queen awake, or alive, she's going to do the most. I mean, look, this raid's going to be over in 15 seconds. So, obviously, the queen's going to take out all these storages in the middle. Hogs are going to take out the rest. Boom. So, good job to everybody today, except for Beak. No, I mean, my raid was okay. Getting 90 anything percent. You know, if you get 90%, 95%, whatever, you did a good raid. You know, you, you can be bad at yourself for not getting the three stars, but if you get that close, if you get within 10% or less, you obviously did a good raid. So, you know, you should kind of pat yourself on the back a little bit. I know your clan isn't going to be happy if it's a one star 90%, but uh, still, you were doing something right. You were on the right track. So all it takes is a nice raid like mine, and then somebody comes in right after and boom, three stars. It's because I made it easy. I showed all the traps and everything. So, <laughs> all right, guys, that's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this, watching me uh, sort of do a good raid. And everybody else do excellent raids. If you did enjoy it, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.